This is the way we get ready for bed, ready for bed, ready for bed. This is the way we get ready for bed, so late night in the evening. Good evening, friends! Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. It's Thursday, good evening, it's Thursday, good evening, it's Thursday, good evening, it's Thursday, good evening. Happy Friday Eve! Friday Eve, every, every Friday Eve, what Friday Eve, every, every Friday Eve. All right, that's it, that's it. We only party on Fridays, okay? We save it for tomorrow. Save it for mañana. Okay, dokie, smokey, okay, dokie, smokey. Turn it. Welcome. Happy Thursday. Luna, get your life. Get your, get, get, get your life together. Okay, girl? Thank you. All right, turn it. It's, oh, no, that was yesterday. No, no, no. Today It's Thursday, February. 11, 2021, and our unicorn tells us to live an intentional life. Intentional is just a big old word for purposeful. Purposeful is just a big old word for think about what you're doing. That's all it means, guys. That's it. So, what that means is, as you go through your life, think about it. What are you doing? What's your goal? What is your intention? What are you trying to gain? What are you trying to get at? What's the overall, like, what are you trying to do here? And what's the goal, man? Figure that out. And do every move with that goal in mind. And that is what living with intention and living with purpose is. Everything, every little minor step you take is towards that big old major goal that you want to accomplish. Okie dokie, Smokies. So, if your goal is to run a marathon, you know how you're going to live with intention. Every day, you take two extra steps, right? And then the next day, you might take five extra steps. And then the next day you might be <gasps> running a half a mile. Oh my goodness, God forbid it. What? What? I know, crazy, right? But that's what happens when you start living with intention and you start moving with purpose. Go towards that goal and everything you do, think about that goal. And I bet you every move you make will be in line with that goal. Okie dokie, Smokies. Okie dokie, Smokies. I'm done preaching for today. Ta-da! We are still in February. We are still on our Black History Month books. We are still highlighting African American authors and African American illustrators and African American characters in our month of February. Oh yeah, we are. Mm, mm, mm. So tonight, you see the hell. Oh oh oh, we're reading about our hell. Yes yes. You see my little puffy puffy. Yes, we love the puffy. We're gonna show the puffy a little bit. How about that? <laughs> we'll show a little bit of puffy. <laughs> We are reading about our hair. I know we have tons of books about our hair around here, right? We love stories about the different textures and hair can be so big and hair can be so small. Hair is so cool. You can have none and still be cool. You can have tons and be cool. It's so broad and expansive and just so creative. Hair is so cool. You can do whatever you want with it, man. Yeah. All right, let's see. So today, we're going to read a book called Hair Love. I'm sure some of you have seen. There's a, I found out there's a little, uh, little short on it now. I got to go watch it. I'm a little late to the game. I read, guys. I'm a little late to the TV stuff. So I found out about it, though. So I'm going to go watch it and catch it now. All right? Okie dokie, Smokies. Today, we are reading Hair Love. And it is by Academy Award winning creator Matthew Cherry. Yes, yes. And illustrated by Miss Vashti Harrison. Thank you guys for writing such a wonderful story and illustrating such a wonderful book. And we have a couple more by Miss Vashti Harrison. I think we've read on here. I don't know. We'll go through the archives and see. Go back to the YouTube and check them out. I'm sure we've got like two or three in there. But she's an amazing illustrator. Amazing. Yes. So go back and we'll, we'll, we'll read some more of hers. Like, yeah. So let me know if she's got some other books, guys, because I really like her art. Okay? Okie dokie. Let's go. Oh, oh. Do you love your hair? Yeah, you do? Do you love your hair? You're killing me over here, kiddo. Do you love your hair? I love your hair. It's kind of rainbowy. You've got the coolest hair ever, man. Ooh, hair love. My name is Zuri, and I have hair that has a mind of its own. Tell me about it, girl. It kinks, it coils, and curls every which way. Woo! 
Don't I know it, sister? Woo wee. Daddy tells me it is beautiful. That makes me proud. Yeah. I love that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids with beads, I am a princess. Ooh, those gorgeous beads. Oh, I love it. That's, that's Gabby Gab's favorite hairstyle. And when my hair is in two puffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. Look at that with her pink cape. Oh, those Afro puffs. I like rough and stuff with my Afro puffs. Hey, rock on with your bad self. Go girl with your Afro puffs. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went. Presto, just like that. There is nothing my hair can't do. See, it went from really, really small, and then the rain hit, and it was like this. <laughs> Today, I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. <gasps> is it? Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. Yeah, sounds like it. Daddy's been busy. Hmm? Yeah, he's done it all. Because today is special, I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. Oh yes, yes. Gotta look on Pinterest, make sure your style is perfect. Go on the internet webs. Make sure your style is perfect. And there we go. Pause off, Rocky. Oh, Rocky tried to take it while she's looking on Pinterest. Come on, Rocky. Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth? He asked. Oh, he's still sleeping. Oh, he's still sleeping. Uh -oh. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll be a piece of cake, Zuri. Uh -oh. The first style was a big no way. Oh no, daddy's got her in like three. I don't even know what this is. This is just like three doohickeys on top of her head. What in the world, daddy No, Look, even Rocky's looking like, I ain't gonna work. The second was no better. No, daddy. Oh, it's not really cold. Oh, baby. Then, he's trying. Then, Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch! Daddy yelled, oh no. Yeah, it's happening. How many, raise your hand if you've lost an eyeball trying to put a scrunchie in. Or seven. Yeah, happens to the best of us, Daddy. Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. A pick's like a comb. Daddy, really? I said. Uh, I'll be right back, he promised. Yeah, that's a big old fro. That's a big puff. <laughs> now, how's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Oh, my goodness. Daddy, come on. We can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said. We'll figure this out. Then I had a great idea. Let's see. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed and we were set. Hmm, let's see what they come up with, yeah? Watching carefully, see, he's got his YouTube videos and his Pinterest up, daddy's ready, daddy's ready. Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it! Funky puff buns, pretty pretty and so much fun. Rocky approved too, look at Rocky. Rocky's like, mm-hmm, I like that. It's good, kid. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy! You've got to be the prettiest superhero girl I've ever seen, she said. Oh, look at the mommy coming in. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? 
I looked at daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled. Very nice. Thank you. We learn from the best, daddy said as he gave her a big, big hug. My hair is mommy, daddy, and me. It's hair love. Oh, and they take a nice picture. <laughs> Beautiful. The end. Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. I'm sorry. It was beautiful. <laughs> All right, friends. Did you like our story? Do you love your hair? Yes, 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 yes. Do you love your hair? Let me see your hair. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, look at all those different styles. I see those beads. Oh, look at those puffs. Ooh, ooh, are those dreadlocks? Ooh, me like it. Me like it. Your twisties. Oh, yes, yes. All of that beautiful, lovely hair. All those locks of gold and pearls and blacks and browns. I love it. I will see you tomorrow night. Don't forget, tomorrow is Friday. It is party time. It's party time. Ooh, ooh, party time. Ooh, ooh, party time. Ooh, ooh, party time. All right, so bring your party shoes and your hangout pants. And what else do we need? Some snacks. We need some snacks, man. It's Friday. Bring your snacks. Bring all your friends, and I'll see you tomorrow night. All right, friends? Okie dokie, Smokies. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. Have a wonderful night tonight. And I will see you tomorrow night. Good night. Good night. Don't let the big bugs bite. Good night. Good night. Good night. Don't let the big bugs bite. Good night. Good night, friends. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow night for bedtime tales. Good night. Good night, friends. Good night, friends.